Welcome to the Old Mission Boat Company construction videos for the Boardman 14. In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach the shear clamps. Also in this step, you will apply epoxy cloth to the scarf joints in the side panels. The shear clamps are the narrow wooden strips that are glued along the top inside edge of each side panel. They are a structural member that strengthens the joint between the deck and the sides of the boat. As you can see in this picture, in a later step when you attach the sides to the boat, the shear clamps fit into the notch that is cut into the upper corner of each frame. Let's begin by attaching the shear clamps to the side panels. Lay out the two side panels on the bench with their letter markings facing up. The shear clamps, like the boat panels, come in two pieces and are joined together to make them longer, but instead of fastening them together ahead of time, you will simply join them as you attach them to the sides. So, you'll be working with a pair of shear clamps for each side of the boat. You will see that two of the shear clamps have diagonal scarfs on each end. Those are the aft shear clamps. Place those along the aft end of each side panel. Place a mark two inches from the aft end of each side panel, near the top inside face. This mark is the exact starting point of the aft shear clamp. Use a foam brush to apply a three-quarter inch wide strip of unthickened epoxy along the top inside face of the side panel. Remember, the inside face of the side panel has the letter markings, and those letter markings should be facing up. You will start with the aft shear clamp. Remember, the aft shear clamp is the one with the scarf joint bevel on both ends. Place one end of the aft shear clamp at the two inch mark with the scarf joint bevel facing up and place a spring clamp just forward of the bevel to hold it flush with the top edge of the side panel. Now you'll create a fulcrum block to help bend the shear clamp to the shape of the side panel. Use a small clamping block covered in plastic wrap and clamp it about eight inches forward of the first spring clamp. You will need a heavier clamp for this, so use a bar clamp or a C clamp. The fulcrum block should be placed a half inch down from the top edge of the plank with its corner pointed up. As you pull the shear clamp down to the point, the corner of the block will act as a fulcrum and allow the shear clamp to conform to the curve of the transom. Use a spring clamp at the very aft end of the shear clamp to keep it from springing up. Continue to place spring clamps every 10 to 12 inches to hold the shear clamp flush with the top edge of the side panel. Now you can install the forward shear clamp. One end of the forward shear clamp has a matching bevel. Coat the faces of the bevels with epoxy and place the forward shear clamp onto the side panel. Be sure the bevel surfaces are in full contact and place two spring clamps to hold the scarf joint tight. Continue placing spring clamps about every 10 inches all the way to the bow. The bow end of the shear clamp will extend past the side panel. That will be cut off in a later step. After all the clamps are in place, work your way back to the transom, checking that the shear clamp is flush with the top edge of the side panel. In this final step, you will apply fiberglass cloth to the side panel scarf joints. This step can be completed before you attach the shear clamps if you prefer. Cut two nine inch long pieces of the fiberglass tape and lay them over the scarf joints of the side panels covering the letter markings. Use a plastic spreader and wet out the glass cloth with regular non-thickened epoxy. Once you complete the installation of the shear clamps on both side panels and the fiberglass cloth on the scarf joints, allow them to cure for at least 8 to 12 hours before installing them on the boat. 